look at that giant turtle. Swimming in the water, minding his own business. Swimming along, swimming along. Now he's going back under the water, swimming pretty faster now. Kind of lost some there. There he is. Hope we got some fish down here. Some lovely fish. And turtles coming back up over there. Doesn't look like he's gonna crawl on the little concrete thing there. Some good view of him. Well, it's another episode of Nathan Chu at the zoo. Unfortunately, I am here a little too early. Um, I thought it opened for seven for members. I was wrong. It is actually eight o'clock because it opens at nine for everyone else. Thought it was an hour earlier than it was. So I got here at seven. Decided to go record a video up top, first governor's tomb, which will be in a, another video I will be posting shortly. Probably after this one posts, edit it, and all that fun stuff. So I'm just waiting for the zoo to open here at the entrance. Looking at the turtles and fish, all that fun stuff. So the big turtle there. No turtles on this side. There's normally a lot more turtles. But now I play the sit and wait game as the waiting for the zoo. Waiting for the zoo to open up. Got probably another 10 minutes before the zoo opens up. But I should see you guys inside. Till then. She'll watch. I shall watch this big turtle. He's coming up and down out of the water. Mine's going to Today, I'm going to go take the Arizona Trail. Something I tend to skip for one reason or another. Because I tend to head to... Head to uh, different parts. Tiger. All the stuff I usually see. That I normally don't don't come over here. Usually it's one of the last things I said it is. Yet it's one of the first when you come in on the inside. And right here, you got this guy. A vulture. Just hanging out behind the wire there. The rest of the place is open besides this one. So you got vultures and they got wild turkeys. I think those are turkeys. I will double check the uh, this little, uh, this little handy dandy thing they got right here. Tells you all the different animals. Yep, wild turkey. We do have forests up in northern, northern Arizona. Wild turkeys. You don't want to get them angry. Probably don't like Thanksgiving very much. some more try to find some food right here it looks like according to the sign you got the common chukawala I'm pronouncing it wrong forgive me and right next to him is little guy it looks like it is a desert iguana just chilling out there under the rock it's a little humid today got a nice little turtle over there little exhibit right here. Another little guy right there. Right here you got some uh, Arizona reptiles. It's a snake right here. It's a green, green rat snake. Can't see anything in this one. Arizona black black rattlesnake. Didn't know they had different colors. So 
coil up right there. Let's see one in that one. Oh, this guy's a little active. It is a Western Diamondback rattle. Let's take you into the diversity in the desert. Little area. I think it's like little amphibians and whatnot. It's a lot brighter, bigger than I remember it. Um, I'm gonna skip this area because this is an area where they do have little amphibians and stuff, but there's also spiders and some more lizards and whatnot. I'm not really a big fan of spiders, so I'm not gonna get near it. But if you are, I would come check it out. This is in the Arizona Trail. Some more vultures up here. Different type of vulture. This one has a red head. Those ones have gray. Got some snow egrets chilling over here. And what are they chilling above? These little guys. Little prairie dogs. Attacking that little tree there that's in there. These guys are, are pretty fat here. Got little chubby guys. Because they don't have to worry about anything. I always thought it was a funny sight. You see these little guys? Chilling, eating. Then right above them, there's a vulture. But they don't have to worry because these vultures are all fed. So they're not going to hunt these little guys. Look at those two little birds over there. Aww, oh, isn't that snow egrets up here? This little, little waterway area. And over into there is where the snowy owls are. And after I get some actual like pictures of these guys right here. Little pipers. A quail. <laughs> Going very quickly. Always real skittish. It's feeding time. I saw them drop some uh, food down. So a lot of them are coming out to get some food. Just right there. I hear a raven in the background. I'm gonna go over there and zoom in on it. Right there is a raven. Didn't notice him before. There's a little burrowing owls right here. They're actually out, not in their little hole. You hear the ravens still in the background. These guys have their own little little area to themselves. There's supposed to be a roadrunner in here. I do not see it. Sometimes it's in the back of the exhibit. Yeah, this guy right here is looming overhead. There didn't used to be a vulture in here. But now there is. Oh, I see the roadrunner. I don't think I could get a clear shot of him. I see his tail. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. I can't really tell from here. But I'm gonna get some actual photographs. These little guys. Maybe he'll come out and I'll get to record them. The roadrunner, that is. As we continue on this Arizona Trail, we go in this door right here. It used to have a different animal in here, but now it is the golden eagle. Which is right close up right here. Now he's behind wiring, so obviously he's not going to attack me. He or she. I believe there's one of each. These beautiful birds right here. It almost looks like they have fur, not feathers. At least for that one. It's a little nest up there. Beautiful animals trail. coming out from the Golden Eagles. You get this little uh, Looney Tunes reference here because those are Roadrunner tracks and Coyote tracks. Especially as we're coming up to the Coyote exhibit. It's going to be right over here. Let's see if we can find the Coyote. Oh, I do see him. He is not hiding too far. Let's see if I can get video of him before he gets away. Right there, you can see him moving. 
or her, I always say him, oh, looking right at us. He was like, whatever. So he goes off into the brush. Cannot be seen, at least right at this moment. You see, they've been setting up some, um, the zoo lights right there, that's the rattlesnake. The tail with the lights actually move back and forth. Now, as I turn the camera towards me, so now, there you go, now you can see me. So they are currently cleaning the javelina exhibit, so we will not get to see them today. But I will bring to you another time in the video. But we shall continue forward because there are mountain lion, and bobcat, and some wolves up ahead. I should go check them out. All right, we're here by the mountain lion exhibit. See them right there. One is kind of looking at me. Oh, it's not zooming in. Well, it's zoomed in, but it's focused in on. It's focusing on the fence. They're right there chilling. You can hear some construction going on in the background. I don't know what they're doing, but hopefully building some more exhibits. Little mountain lion. The bobcat one's behind me. We'll see if the bobcat's actually so there. Here's the bobcat exhibit. Either the bobcat is hiding really well or he's not currently out. I do not see him. Maybe maybe another time we will get a catch a glimpse of him. Let's see the running water they have right here as we go up to the Mexican wolf exhibit. I did see one as I was coming over here, but he kind of went behind some some brush over there. If we try to zoom in, catch us. There we go. We got a little glimpse of him right here before I lose him behind some brush. This is one of the older exhibits in the zoo. I saw a sign that said it was 19. Oh, there's another one right there. Right there. As I was saying, so this was built in 1972. So it's been here for, at least this exhibit seems like it's been here for a while. Could be wrong, but that's what I was going to read in the, the plaque. See at least two wolves in here. There might be more. I swear I saw a third one. But with so much brush, it's kind of hard to tell. Better shot. Right there. Nope, oh, that's not where he's at. There we go. There we go. We got a close up on him. He's moving around, looking at things, expect inspecting different things. Also, with the loud construction over there. Wonder what they're doing over there. Probably it's too. So they're clearing out a big piece of area. guys right here can't really see them they're in the shadow thick build parrots this is a very unique uh, unique environment because so they can go from this one all of this one and there's like three of them connecting which is pretty cool wonder if it, this was just for birds originally or maybe for uh, monkeys looks like two connect third one looks like it is gated off so it does not connect so it's like it would be a good uh, one for some monkeys so they can go back and forth through everything. And this one. Oh, got an owl. Who knew I'd see him here? Ha ha ha. He did not like that joke. He's like, really? Really, I haven't heard that one before. Look at that eye. Staring at me. That or he wants him to shut up so he can go to sleep. And he flew up. The second one in there, over in the corner. Can't really see too well. Actually, I don't even know if that is one. I can't tell. There we go. Nice little owl right there. We shall continue oh, on the tigers and lions. Make my way over to the right thing. Let's see. Try to catch a glimpse of the baby. Maybe the baby's doing something cool. Oh, I'm in the shadow again. It's really overcast and humid here. So I don't know how long I'll stay today. 
been here a while already. Well, not really that long. I've only been here about 20 minutes or so. Actually, no, take that back. About 40 minutes. Not including the wait to get in fully because of my mistaken thinking of what time this is open. So I won't forget that now. <laughs> but now, we're coming across the California Condor, which is in Arizona. I have seen them. They go to the Grand Canyon. I have seen one there a long time ago. Never was able to get a picture of them. But they're all the way in the back of the exhibit. All right, I'll try to keep the camera steady. There's one there. And let's see if I can find the other one. All right, there. California condor is, is endangered. Needs protection. I remember learning about them when I was in California. Sorry for the zoom in and out. How endangered they were, and it was because of power lines and pesticides. They are making a comeback through zoo conservation efforts. I'm not even zoomed in on one anymore as I let my camera go wherever it wanted to. There we go. It's a California condor. They're right behind those three parrots that I filmed earlier in the shadow. Little annoying guys. We shall continue on this Arizona trail. Looks like they're building a new exhibit right here. It's got the outer frame of it. Can't tell what it is yet. Could be for another bird or something, but they have it all blocked off. Be very cool to see when it's all done. Well, this guy's gotten it's a white nose coatie. Don't know if I can see him. It's a bag in there and stuff. I don't know. I don't see him. It looks like he got let out. He might be hiding. He might be one of those that we will have to catch next time I'm here. Or another time I walk the Arizona Trail. So we shall move on. Or he actually might still be inside. Maybe he doesn't want to face the, the humidity that is right now. It hasn't rained or anything. There's a lot of moisture in the air because we're getting a pressure system in. It's supposed to rain later today. It's hoping it'd be cooler out than it is right now. So, but that is like the end of the Arizona Trail for what I saw. There's another little section here with water with little fish and stuff. I didn't really go over there. We'll have to come back through here again because we can see the bobcat. A couple other things and some new things coming through. So I'll have to check it out. But, well that's it for this episode of Nathan Chu at the Zoo. I am your host, Nathan Chu. For a full more of these adventures, subscribe to the channel. Follow, follow me on Twitter, at Nathan Chu. That's N-A-T-H-A-N-C-H-U. And you could follow... Red Button Jam Fest, which is a website I'm a part of on Twitter. It's RB Jam Fest. And we call the website. Go to the website, check out more things that me and my compadres do. RedButtonJamFest.com. Check out some, some fun stuff to do here in Arizona with my show Nate's Wonders. But until next time, hope you guys have a good one. And have fun on this little trip with me to the zoo. And here's a fox. What do you have to say about everything? Hmm? What do you have to say? Baby right there. Stretching his legs and parents being very protective of it.